So if you're new to skating on the streets, here are five skate tips and tricks to get you started. Hey, I'm Lal Kuna from Madam Quad. We love street skating. So if you're looking for some tricks to help improve your style and roll, we got gotcha, you, Babs. Here are five tips and tricks for the street we prepared for you earlier. Wait, YouTube said to remind you guys to subscribe or she will hold all our videos in a dirty dungeon for ransom. So do like the video if your clicking fingers are available. One of the most important things for roller skating is weight shifting. Staggering and leaning into your edges will help you apply pressure for balance and grip. Start with your feet staggered and your knees bent. Engage your core to lean and whip your hip diagonally across your body towards your front foot. Put pressure on the outside edge of your front foot and the inside edge of your back foot. Pull your back foot forward by whipping your hip across your body towards the front and repeat. You can do this on one leg to work on strength and balance. You can adjust the bend according to the sharpness of the turn. The sharper the turn, the more you bend. From crab to cracks, stairs to stacks, there's a lot of unexpected things that will pop up randomly when you're skating on the streets. The second thing on the list is called the one-two step, AKA the leap, if you're sassy. As you load your back leg and engage your core, angle your feet slightly outwards. Your supporting foot should be perpendicular to the direction you're traveling to. Tuck your forward foot in by bringing your knees straight up. Shift your hip forward, keeping your wheels flat and knees bent to land. Angling your feet down or up will shift your weight to a much smaller surface area, which can throw you off a lot easier, especially when you're not expecting it. So remember to relax your ankles and travel at 90 degrees for a safer landing. Maths angles. And if you're not ready to do the one-two step on wheels, you can try this on your toe stops at a slow and comfortable pace to get you mentally prepared. And if you are comfortable with it, you can try the one-two step on and off ledges and benches. The third trick for the street is jump. So the thing with jumping on the street is jumping on the street which could be filled with cars and people, cats and dogs. Just, you, you get my drift? So plan ahead and look as far as possible. When you're ready and rolling, engage your core and stagger your feet with your dominant foot in front. Load your legs and bend your knees. Thrust your hips up and out to land. To help you maximize your balance, swing your arms back as you load to jump forward to actually jump and back down again to land with your feet staggered. There's a lot of contention about whether you should land with your dominant foot or not. I like to try out as many different combos as possible to maximize my skating experience. So if you're the same, practice switching both left and right as the leading foot before you take off and when you land and then you can also practice switching your lead foot mid-jump while you're in the air. Imagine that. Bending your knees as you land will really help absorb the impact so you and your knees can do this for longer. Wear protection for safety and an extra confidence boost, especially if you're feeling iffy. Once you get into jumping around on skates, there is no doubt you'll wanna do a 180. That was 360. I gave you double, buy one, get one free. Similarly to what we demonstrated earlier with the standard jump, you'll need to stagger your feet and engage your core. Seriously, at this point, I think you'll realize that that is one of the things that you will need to do for every action or almost every action you need to do on skates. So back to my point. You need to decide which way you want to jump. So with your dominant foot in front, you can choose to either twist and jump towards your butt 
or away from your butt. Switching leading foot is highly recommended for maximizing skating power. Anyways, whichever way you choose, the principle is the same. You always want to load your weight on the opposite side of where you're traveling to. Wind up and tuck your arms in to the same side as you're loading your leg. Swing up and out as you twist and tense your arms in an L position when you land. And you always want to land with your feet staggered and soft knees. These core principles can be applied to 360s or more if you're interested. To complete more revolutions in the air, you need to maximize height and speed. That comes with lots of practice and hard work. So be sure to start with small increments. A quarter revolution at a time is a great starting point, especially if you're feeling nervous. And in the name of quad practice, jumping away and towards your leading foot, as well as practice switching your leading foot for takeoffs and landings. El finalement. Definitely something that we have been working up to with the last four tricks. Enough stalling. We need to work on some stalls. A front stall is essentially a jump where you land temporarily on an edge before jumping back to wherever you came from. So you can take off with one foot, then the other, or with both. It's just really a matter of whichever scares you the least. The part that makes contact with the edge, whether it's your grind blocks, your toe stops, or just your plates, needs to land perpendicular to the edge or you won't have a good time. For 180 outs, begin twisting before you jump off the ledge. This way, you've already done half of the job before you've actually started. This will make your turns a lot easier. You want to feel like a bird on a perch. Nice, soft landing. So try to take off and land quietly to work on your control. Remember, skating is dangerous. Stay vigilant, wear the protection you need to protect you from avoidable and painful injuries. Want to learn more about street skating? Comment below and let us know exactly what you want to know. Do you love street skating too? Send us your best video and tag us or something. Do something cool.